I mean, Ken said that very early on, that it was, you know, fathers and sons was what this was about. And I think, you know, whether you're playing a god or, a, uh, you know, <laughs> a human or whatever, you just, you make it real and, uh, and relatable. And that was the smart thing about this story. It wasn't, you know, I mean, it was, the backdrop was a film about gods, but it was about, you know, human beings at the core of it and then the relationships, fathers and sons, you know. So uh, at the beginning of the film, Thor um, comes in as a brash, cocky young guy. Um, with a you know a ton of power at his fingertips, um, and is about to you know basically become the the ruler of the kingdom and you know the, that that realm, uh, and I think Odin sees a lot of things in Thor that uh, you know that he he was full of you know when he was younger and not so good things you know the the sort of uh, act before he thinks about it kind of deal you know and and um, so he's sort of questioning Thor if he's ready to be you know to become the the, the, you know the next king and um and so that's it's all about sort of hu him learning some humility you know and it comes to the point when thor goes against his father's word and and the way things are done and sort of takes off on his own and uh creates chaos and then is is punished for it by uh being sent to earth as a mortal to to learn the lesson you know?